Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outies. In this video, I'll be showing you how to refund from Hostinger. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how to exactly have a refund here from Hostinger. Well, this one is very easy. First things first is we want to disable auto renewal on whatever plan. Like for example, if, if, uh, if you want to get a refund on a domain, you want to basically turn off the auto renewal for it. So typically speaking, you just need to go to hbl.hostinger.com expand domains here if you that's what you want to get a refund from and access domain portfolio now go ahead and click on the manage button and from here you should see auto renewal so what you need to do is you just need to uh, click on the button that you see next to it and from then on you should be able to turn on auto renewal but in some cases if you click on the auto uh the cancel or uh, if you turn off auto renewal here it's going to uh, give you a pop-up here which in this case you just need to confirm that you want to turn off auto renewal so as an example this is what you'll be getting so let's go and click on disable auto renewal and once you've done that it should be now disabled now at the top right here you want to go and click on the question mark icon or the help button here let's go and click on it now from here let's go and select our topic so for example we want to choose like billing and we want to go and choose our subscription so for example i want a refund it will redirect you to another page here which in this case you should be able to see all your invoices so in this case if your account or your plan here is uh, refundable you could go and click on the refund button here and it will redirect you to another page here in this case you just need to fill out all the uh, necessary information so in this case what you need to do is you need to uh, basically agree to i understand that my service will be cancelled immediately all data stored and services will be deleted and can be recovered so go and click on next now it's going to ask you for the reason like for example specify whichever reasons that you want to specify here but once you've done that you just need to choose your refund method so usually this is going to be your payment method that you use and also the summary here and just need to confirm that now, once you've full, filled out all the necessary information, you should be able to have a refund here. But to be speaking, it might take around like a, a whole day or a few days in order for you to get your refund. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.